What's the neutral zone and when can players move into it? The rules in the pros and high school are different and we're going to show you with the help of our local officials Jim Rosen and Mike Hoffman and our Parkway North players. Randy, the neutral zone is an area that is equal to the length of the football. It runs sideline to sideline through the points of each of the ball and no player other than the snapper can be in that zone from the ready for play until the snap. So our guys will demonstrate this. They will go down in set positions and as you look down the line of scrimmage, it is a clear area except for the snapper who is allowed to be in that area. Okay guys, come up. In this case, we're going to have somebody who's going to cheat up a little bit and now they're going to go down in set positions. And they go down in set positions and we see the guard on the closest side and even the defensive guy is encroaching in the neutral zone. The wing official on either side will kill the play. It is a dead ball, five-yard penalty. Do it again. The rules are different in the NFL in regards to encroachment because a player can cross the line of scrimmage and get back if he doesn't touch anybody, correct? That's right, Randy. That's an offside penalty, which doesn't occur in high school ball. Again, remember these two lines that go through the point of the football. In the in upper levels, player can get off his side of the ball so long as he's back by time the snap happens. In high school, as soon as he breaks the plane of the neutral zone, a flag goes up, it's a five-yard dead ball encroachment foul.